because I don't know anything about this stuff. Like, I'm just learning. So I'm sure somebody's going to be like, oh, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> She's back it up. Figuring out this process, this is what we've done today. Our resin and our hardener and our additives. And we are still very much learning this, but we, it seemed to go okay our first round for newbies. And during this whole process today, it has been one potential rainstorm after another. And so we have started this project Oh, I think we're on start number four of the day, trying to get this all done. But so far, it's looking like we might have okay weather for a few hours anyway. We'll see if that continues. <laughs> I hope it works. We'll find out. Suggested by everybody is that this is the way to go because then you don't have to sand near as much in between coats. Are you going to help me? Yeah. Well, you got Because it gets over. everything, all the extras pushed out to where it should be. I'm running out of room, too. Just turned on. Good? Yep. See what I can do is without spilling that epoxy everywhere. We were down here looking for leaks and uh, ant beds and ant beds because we have fire ants on the boat somewhere and we we're just trying to find places. Anyway, we found this leak here, which we didn't know about. Um, amazingly, there's no water in here, but there was a, a little bit, maybe a half a gallon of water on the other side of this. But more importantly, the previous owner cut these openings bigger. This one too, you can look right down here. All right, and he didn't seal it. You know, it, I, you just gotta seal this. If you don't seal this, then then you got problems. So it's a rainy day. We're in a we're in the starboard ama, and I'm gonna just put some pox on here so that there's a moisture barrier. If you can get in there, I'm gonna try to keep my good out of your way. But it's like death by a thousand swords, man. You have to, anytime you cut something open, you gotta seal it. The strength of these boats is being 100% encapsulated with plastic. And I don't know anything about this stuff. Like, I'm just learning. So I'm sure somebody's gonna be like, oh, you're doing it wrong. But, um, 
I'm going to try to do it right as best I can until I can be educated. Got to put love into these boats. You got to understand that it's not a classic plastic. It's something that's worked all the time, and that's fine as long as you do the work all the time. If you don't, then it gets a lot worse. And it's not really hard work if you just if you just stay on top of the little itty bitty stuff here and there, here and there, here and there, then it really never gets big. If you do your watches and you do your inspections and you make sure that you're checking for stuff and you're doing it thoroughly, then you catch this before it's that and it's just a little patch. You know, now it's probably a patch like all the way out here and across and it's a redo the chain plate because the bottom of the chain plate's still pretty good but the top ain't, you know, so... It's going to be a job, but whatever. That's our life today. Happy Father's Day, everybody. Peace.